Fire them up while they're still hot. This next contest is set for one fall. When the bell sounds, the man in command, senior official, Mr. Spanky. One, two, three. Special Spanky123 has called this match under the way. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us in the commentary booth right now, another keen observer and another member of the class of 2011 Hall of Fame. It is my pleasure to tell you. Excuse me, can you do me a favor? Let's play a game of shut the fuck up. Certainly uh, not showing a lot of respect. There is Davey O'Hanlon joining us in the commentary booth. Davey, I love what you had to say during the induction ceremony in the 2011 IPWA Hall of Fame. You really didn't know you were being invited for that this evening, did you? Well, it was a complete surprise to me, and it's the best surprise I've ever had in this business. Well, I, I am really an honor and a privilege to have you alongside with us. But right now, a couple of other legends, well, a cousin of a legend, in Bobby Piper right now, taking on a man, Rock and Rebel right in the center of the ring. And I gotta tell you, we got a flurry of offense from both of the competitors, so far showing us how to rock it old school. Oh, man. Rock and Rebel right now, definitely showing he's not ready for a PG-13 audience. James right out here with a 50-50. Uh... 
I'm not gonna stop. Alright, Rock and Rebel right now with the stop sign against Bobby Piper. Oh, and it backfired. Bobby Piper lifts him up for the body slam, throws him down. The veteran presence of Rebel kicking in. He's a little overwhelmed, so he takes a timeout on the outside of the ring. Who says there's no timeouts in pro wrestling? Well, John Solo live as the commander of the commentary booth, along with the master of ceremonies, David Adams, and again, Davey O'Hanlon, our latest 2011 Hall of Fame inductee. Right now, Rock and Rebel taking a timeout and a water break. Davey, is that something you learned from Kurt Gagne? Look at that, the, the rocking chair Rebel needs a drink. Oh my goodness, rocking chair Rebel. Well, I guess Rebel's not the only one that can tell something on the microphone. Thank you, dude. All right, Bobby Piper right now saying, you want a water break? Here's the water in your eye, kid. Rebel unceremoniously bringing Bobby Piper back into the ring. Woo! Oh, man. I don't think we have to talk much about those now, folks, chops. Rebel saying to Bobby, welcome back, kid. Unceremoniously. The rocking chair rebel in the center of the ring in the Super Bowl. Thank you, Davey O'Hanlon. I'm going to use that. <laughs> Looks like the rocking chair rebel's about to take a nap. Oh, but a jawbreaker right there is able to get the hold off. And Bobby Piper's down. Shut up. Shut up. You know, isn't it funny how Rebel was paying homage and showing all the respect earlier in the night, but showing no respect now that he's at the ring. Talk is cheap, blame it on the rebel, man. Okay, spanking one, two, three, right on top here. Checking to make sure that rebel's not just doing a chill, that he's actually not choking him. What? Go ahead, take it away, David. I was going to say, as Rebel tries to wear down Bobby Piper, Bobby Piper with the offensive flying body press, he almost beats the Rebel. Two and a half, says Spanky123. Pick him. Two, three, two, three, two, three. Frustration on the face of the Rebel. Just when they were feeling each other out, it got hot and heavy right there. These two are going to just battle out to the very end, it appears here at Doc's anniversary show. What else would you expect? You know, I gotta tell you something. What? David Adams, we've gone back a ways. Rock and Rebel and I have seen each other many different sides, many different rings, many different federations. And I will tell you that there is a reason why his training school and his former federation was known as Black Bald Wrestling Organization. Because that's exactly what he was for most of the places he worked. I don't know how to follow that. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Laying his hands on the referee. Even Rebel knows that's not called for. One, two, and Bobby Piper. Oh, Piper no. almost got the win. Oh, Piper the roll up. Two. We're going to have to rename him Spanky One Two after that flurry of two counts tonight. You know, it's amazing how Rock and Rebel thinks this is the Halloween show. He keeps calling the referee a witch. I'm telling you. At least that's how I heard it. We'll dump it out later. Well, oh, Rock and Rebel right now in a very unfortunate situation. As he's got Bobby Piper laying in and that reverse elbow. Bobby Piper puts him into the corner, but no, reversal. Rebel into the corner and oh. One thing I know about Rebel from working with him in the short time I've been in the business, he made the pipe bomb cool before it was cool to be called the pipe bomb. Piper out of the way right now. And there's this guy's hands of steel that he's known for. He'll say anything, he'll do anything. That's what makes him a Rock and Rebel. We look at that old school, but both of these guys not afraid to lay it down in fisticuffs. We've seen Bobby Piper going some wicked battles with Shasta, going into a lot of different stuff, but right now he's going for an old school pit. And he was able to get out of the way. He almost had the win right there once again. He's really giving Rock and Rebel all he can handle here tonight at the anniversary show. You know, I'm not really sure that Rebel actually kicked out of that. I think he just bounced out when the referee landed.
And you gotta say, senior official Spanky123, he's had complete control of this match from the opening bell. So, I would, better him than me if they're trying to control these. Oh, Rebel doesn't know where he is. St Rebel's out on his feet. No! Reversal in the corner! That looks like the sight of a. Oh! Oh, that was nuts. Well, he might not have won the match, but he won the hearts of the fans. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Bobby 